It's meant to be my, what do you call it, uh, night, what do you call it, anniversary night, so I can't <laughs> kick the arse out it too much. I've already kicked the arse out it two and a half wow, hours. Wow, you're a brave but man. It's cool, man. Very brave. <laughs> no, but we've had dinner, so once once I shut this down, then we'll, we can have a bit of time together. It's cool. Uh, Roger, uh, it's no good. We lost the game, but I see him improving, especially Sterling. Sterling was really good. I would say sensational, but it, it, we needed a bit of... He was more man of the match on a losing team. Yeah, that ball he played back and three lots of players, and the, what do you call it, two players missed getting contact. Then yes. it went to Chilwell and on he his passed right foot. it back. You know, he yeah. could have bust the net with that, but it's all ifs and buts. But Ch Sterling did his job there and he had at least two or three times where he charged right through people like that. That was sensational. So he's getting a tune out of him, whereas uh, Jellyfish last season couldn't get a tune at him, and then Lampard came in and he couldn't get a tune at him. So if he can individually improve all our players, to me he's doing a good job, regardless of how uh, the results are going and stuff like that. I think it's just going to take time. He's got, he's got, he's got a bad hand, if that's the way to describe it. He's had a bad hand and he's trying to make the best there. What do you think, Roger? I totally concur. I think he's been hampered also with injuries. Yet again, it's it's not an excuse. It's just a fact. If you're not able to build continuity within the squad because you're losing a player each match, you're not going to, shall we say, reach the heights that you wish to. Um, however, listen, th th this cannot continue. You know, the law of averages catches up and hopefully we go on a very long stretch where we... We don't get players hurt. And I think if you give him and his coaching staff and this very young squad time, I think you're going to see, which we already have through the, what, the seven matches we've seen, five preseason and, and two regular season, we can already see the progress. I mean, Ray Charles can see it. So, yeah. simple. I, 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 I'm, I'm, shall we say cautiously optimistic based on logic and based on what I've seen thus far. Yeah. So Kimber, what I've got in the panel. Kimber, what you think in closing thoughts? Uh, is it all doom and gloom or have we got something positive to look forward to? We've got a game of football on Friday. I'm I'm positive. Um you know we had obviously a really difficult start um results wise but I'm I'm encouraged by the football I've seen on exactly on, on, the, on the display. Now, um, you have an identity there. With Potter, you didn't really know what he was doing. We had we changed formations, we changed squad every single game. We had so many different changes every single you know uh, time we looked at, uh, at the team sheet. With Potter, uh, Potter, with Pochettino, you can see you know the way he's trying to play. Um, you can see us carving teams open, you know, creating chances. Um, you know, as long as you, as long as we're creating chances, we've always got a chance. You know, it's it, 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 you can't score unless you create a chance. I know it's you know it sounds obvious, but you know, to see us creating all these chances and to, and having a go, you know, the players obviously clearly working for Poch. Um, it's it's doubtful whether they're doing it for Potter uh, at the time. And we're moving the ball faster, all be exactly. And uh, I can see a style of play, and it's when I watch, I enjoy watching the team as well. And and when. Took him scored that goal. You could see how happy his teammates were as well. You know when yes. they were celebrating at the end of it. Um, you could see how happy they was. Look at Colwell, look at Enzo. You know, just 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 brilliant to see. And I think hopefully and 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 that's comfortable win against Luton at home on Friday. Um, and then you know we can look forward and hopefully get a few more wins under our belts and get a conference going. And I think we'll have a good season. Um, like I say, it's only the second game of the season, so there's no need to panic yet. Um, and I think Pochettino will, he's the right man for the job, obviously. And uh, yeah, I think we can only go from strength to strength. Well, Bobby, we've just signed Casado, who we all think is going to be a sensational player. We've mm. just signed Lavia, who we know is a fantastic player. So we've got two sensational players just coming to the team. Rhys James was missing because he's injured. You've got Ninkunku, who's probably a big part of how we were going to play this season. Mm. Why, why, why are we panicking when good things are coming? What do you think, Bobby? Yeah, we shouldn't be panicking, although, you know, we should be acutely aware that we have eight players out injured, which is almost half the team. So this idea of a 22, 23 man squad can be shelved a little bit. And it exactly. will be. I don't think Ugo Chuku will go anywhere. I don't think Santos will go anywhere either. Mainly for that reason, if our squad was all fit and brimming and 
ready to play, then maybe we could see some people that, you know, we kind of don't want to go on loan, go in on loan. But you're right, you know, that's going to be stayed until January and then we'll have another think. And in January, um, uh, what's his name? Uh, Jackson's going to African Cup of Nations, so that's another issue. But that aside, I don't think we should be panicking. We are a new side. We're a bunch of strangers. We're playing well, even as a bunch of strangers. Exactly. Just a bit of, just a bit of naivety against a very wily West Ham. Um, we should be mindful of our uh, mistakes, as it were, against West Ham, because we're meeting another West Ham type of team in Luton. You know, their physical... Um, big guys, they're going to play the low block, look for a fast break. And, you know, they're very well organized. They've been together longer than we have. So we need to be mindful of that. Can we deal with that? Absolutely. You know, we play to our potential and we win the game. I really believe that. But, um, I, but the fan base and even the players themselves, they must understand that they are in a process. I know that word is banded about a lot, but for us, it really is a process. And we will improve with every game we play, I'm sure of it. Yeah, here. Yeah. Uh, Arthur, I, I, I'll just say good, uh, uh, just go down the panel, say goodbye, you know, we sign. I, I think P Poch is doing everything right. The only thing is, he's going to get questioned when he brings on Burstow, when there's other players on the bench, you know. Uh, but he is a guy that's in training with these guys. He must have thought Burstow would bring something to the party. And every decision he makes, he's making for a reason. You know, it's like Kukare has dropped out of the team. Most people would have seen that as a good thing. So he's doing certain things. But then the chilly thing up front, nobody likes it. So that, that gets a bit of criticism towards him. All I'll say is if we take our chances, nobody's uh, sort of bleating on about all these decisions. Exactly. You know? We we only have to scrape a win the other day, and nobody's talking about any of this nonsense. That's what that's what I really do think, and I think results is a big part of things. If we can scrape a few wins here or there, uh, everything will sort of be hunky dory, and I think it'll help these players settle in as well. Because Cassiedo's just had a stinker in some people's eyes, you know, and it's not ideal for the boys. He's 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 uh, caused a penalty, that kind of stuff. So it's not ideal. So uh, things could be better. But it's what it is. But I'll be I'll be on tomorrow night, and I'm off on Thursday as well. So I'll be streaming on Thursday, guys. So if you can spend some time with me, that would be awesome. But I think it's been a sensational panel tonight, and I think it's been really positive quality uh, discussion between the five years. I think it was five years there. Eh? So thanks, uh, Roger. Thanks, Bobby Smokey, and thanks, Coomber. I know it's absolutely tough. my pleasure. I, I know it's tough because uh, you know we've all got to get a little talk and stuff like that. So it's hard to it's hard to wait about to speak and stuff. But I do I do my best to keep it sort of ticking along, guys. Uh, but thanks very much. I think everybody's probably enjoyed this that uh, watched it online and stuff. So I'll let you all go. Uh, if you just want to say cheerio, uh, Roger first. You sir, congratulations. And, uh, yeah, a, a great show, honestly. All joking aside, very um, insightful. I really appreciate it. Bobby, a yeah. pleasure as always. Kumba, it, a pleasure, sir. And, and thanks for sp spreading the happiness because uh, we're, we're, leading, we're leading people away from the darkness into the light. That's what I think. <laughs> I concur. Bye-bye, <laughs> Roger. <laughs> uh, Kumba. Always a pleasure, Mitchie. Um, yeah. And regards to uh, Roger as well, obviously a uh, brilliant panellist. Great to obviously hear everyone's views. And like I say, this is therapy for so many Chelsea fans um, who watch the stream, including myself. You know, it's great to have um, a view on things and obviously discuss it with the panellists. And, you know, it's good to fresh out our, our opinions and views and stuff like that. And, um, yeah, I think it's obviously healthy to talk about the club you love at the end of the day. So happy anniversary to you, Mitchie, of course, and a three years. Uh, hopefully, many, many more years of happiness, mate. And oh, uh, not too many, yeah. though. Eh? Not too many. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, mate, it's, 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 it's a, is that a prison contract? Is that a Chelsea yeah, prison contract? Yeah, it is. Actually, yeah, a top bowling <laughs> contract, mate. That is. <laughs> Give it another six years, mate. A nine-year contract. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I'm honestly, quite old, you know. I, I, every day is a bonus. What do you think? That's it, exactly, exactly. And you've got a nice young girl on your on your on your arm as well, mate. You can't go wrong with that, can you? You can't, you can't complain. Yeah. <laughs> Life's good to you. 
Yeah. I was treating you yeah. well, man. I was treating you well. You get what well, you no, deserve. Mate. You get what you deserve in life, I believe. You do, mate. Yeah, hundred percent. I'm only joking, pal. Well, no, uh, pleasure as always, mate. Yeah, I always love coming on. You know I do, and uh, yeah, I, I, know, I won't pal. be on tomorrow because I'm busy. But definitely Thursday, I'll pop on and we can uh, have a little chill, uh, chill with my guys that time. Yeah. Yeah. Cheers, pal. Let me know when you're Hold available. On. I might put a special slot in for you, pal. Uh, so so you get to talk. I'll, okay, I'll direct message you on Twitter. All right, Mitchie. All right, pal. Bye, bye, bye. Appreciate it. Bye, bye. Bobby, you were late. You were late to the party. What are you saying here? Yeah, Mitch boy, Mitch boy. Well, first of all, happy anniversary for sure. Um, look, uh, my message to uh, a great stream as always, Mitchy, and thanks for having me on. Uh, my message to our fan base is: look, perspective. Look at where we are. Look at what we're doing. Look at the the uh, squad we have, and look at the positives. Considering, you know, a bunch of strangers just been together for a little while most of whom have just arrived, uh, a lot of the key ones anyway. Um, and Matt, new manager, he himself is learning the players. You know, let, let's take, you know, a step back. Less of the attacks on the team, on the individual players, and certainly on the ownership. We're blessed to have this sort of ownership. We had Roman Abramovich, who just loved the club and, and spent money on it like he was a child of his which it actually was. Um, and then we've got this consortium who are not holding back. They want the best for the club. They're doing their best. They're being very, very clever, all to the benefit of the club. Let's not be that 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 person, that, that entitled person who doesn't appreciate anything. You know, I learned in life to appreciate. Appreciation is so important. And we as a club, we're so blessed. We should appreciate the fact that we even have a club that can drop 115 million on a player for us, bang, just like that, just because we need it. We should be thankful, enjoy what's going on. Yeah, it hurt against West Ham. I was as angry as anybody else. But I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful because of what we've seen. And I'm confident that uh, with the manager we have and the players and the, and the ownership, that we will get back to the very top again. And this time, stay there. Yeah. We, we, uh, Man City are already there, but, you know, we, we, we could be there. But the thing is, some of these teams, they're doing the sort of thing that we used to do. They're spending a lot of money all the time, and that isn't going to be sustainable soon because of the new rules coming in. So everybody has to change. And we've sort of got used to this buying player thing. It's going to change a little bit. I think development might be a big part of going forward what's going to happen with football teams it might be after our time you know it might be after our time a lot of these things happen but I think that's what's going to happen it, it's a case of you'll develop your own players you'll not be just trying to buy players all the time so it might change you never know Bobby back uh, to the old days yeah back to the old days yeah where you had to get players for Scotland <laughs> <laughs> used yeah, to get two absolutely. or three players in every squad for Scotland Some maybe one for Wales, one for Ireland that's what they yeah, did, they yeah. scouted about and they got players for other leagues now yeah. now it's just a lazy way of doing it, you know, you get all your scouts you know, you see a fantastic player he plays well for his country, we go in and buy him we've been doing that for 20 years but that's going to come uh, that's going to be knocked in the head because this financial fair play for us to balance the books we are going to have to change the way we do things and I like the I didn't know this is what the the ownership were doing it for but it all fits now uh, and it's good that I understand that that it's what it is but it's tough it's tough because some of these players are not quite ready we want more experience. We're used to... Everybody keeps on going in with the Lampards, the drug biz and all that, but that isn't the Chelsea we've got at the moment, Bobby. And, and they, they need a reality. we need a reality check, you yeah. know? And it but shouldn't I'm, be. The ownership... I'm glad you understand what they're doing because so many Chelsea fans don't. That's why they come out with some of the nonsense they do. You know, <laughs> the, 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 the project is based on um, present and future. And yeah. the future in terms of, uh, of marketing and purchases is definitely going to change. And they're mitigating for that. These are very forward-thinking owners and they, they, they're way ahead of the curve. Um, yeah. It's just, you know, if they're ahead of the curve of other premiership clubs, I guess you can't really blame fans for not understanding what's going on 
but uh, I think it's soon. This is why these sort of streams are important, and I really hope it's helpful for those that care to listen um, what's being said. Yeah, because people can get depressed and a bit down and things mm. like that. So if you can explain things and get people to think a bit more positively, I think it helps. I think it helps. There's a big game on Friday. Uh, you can get upset in between games, but you've always got to get yourself up for the game on Friday. It's no long now and we're playing another game of football. I just hope we win, Bobby. I think it's important yeah. for the club. I think it's important for these young players. You know, the morale, the morale of the squad. You know, everybody round about Stamford Bridge, I think it's important. We we really do need a win. It's not as if I want us to lose every week. It's not about that. It's about seeing where we are and you know the process, but seeing where we are. The, get, the guys are at different levels. Cassie Edo, a bit worried about that. Uh, he was a bit rusty the other day, but he's going to take a few games to get up to speed. Uh, sure. There was reports that Lavia, with, nobody seen Lavia in training the day, so I don't know what's going on there. So I, I think Lavia's doubtful that he'll start, definitely. And whether he's even in the squad, I don't know. Uh, yeah. But he is a press resistant player, so he'll be important to get in the team. Uh, and we'll just see how it goes. There's, there, it's going to be an exciting week as well, Bobby, because I'll need to go, but we're, we are going to have a lot to stream about because this last week of the transfer window is going to be good as well because I still think there's going to be two or three coming in, maybe seven or eight going out. Uh, what do you think about that, Bobby? It's going to be an exciting week. I think you're right. Um, well, out of the two or three, one is definitely coming in from Wednesday, the goalkeeper. And then yeah. it's the attacking positions that we need to look out for. Uh, that will be interesting. The right winger stroke 10 and the forward, I think they are definitely on the horizon. Yeah, so I'll let you go, Bobby. We'll no use up our ammunition. We need to save a little bit for other streams there. Eh? Absolutely. Thanks for having me. Good night. No, it's cool, it's cool, buddy, but I need to go and spend time with the wife. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, you Good know, night. I'm not having to get dragged away, but I, I, I said it'd be two hours and it's now nearly three. But that's quite good, though. When I say two hours, I really mean three hours, Bobby. That That's, under, <laughs> that, that's understood, eh? Everybody understands that, eh? Yeah, yeah, well. All right. Thanks uh, for coming I, I on, pal. And, and, and you keep well. Yeah. You keep well. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Cheers, buddy. Yeah. Bye, bye, bye. Right, guys, uh, last, last, might be the last chat. If Lukaku is still here after the deadline day, we're going to have a problem, yeah. If he's after the, if he's here after the deadline, it becomes somewhere else in the world that's still got, a, they've still got their, what do you call it, their transfer window, and they can go to Saudi and stuff like that. So there is other options once the European transfer shuts or whatever. So there is options. But I think if he wants to stay in Europe, he has to get something done in the next week. Is it nine, ten days and then the transfer window shut? Uh, Mr. Hogan saying, should beat Luton 5 6 nil to feel any satisfaction. I, I'd be happy scraping my win at this point. <laughs> I'd be happy just winning a game. I don't want to be like last season where we're just sort of like drawing and losing all the time. I, it's not going to be good. A 2 1 win will be a loss, Bobby. Yeah, I agree. It, 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 a convincing win will be a good thing. The other thing, like you're saying, is where's the goals going to come from? So we need to score some goals, eh, Hulk Hogan, you know? We have to score some goals. I'll just say goodbye to everybody anyway. We've got Mr. Hogan here. If you're a new subscriber, good to see you in here, pal. Chelsea boy one two three four good to see you Tony Tiger thanks very much pal always showing support to the Mitchy boy I know uh, Johnny's on and stuff like that but I really appreciate you guys coming in and raiding and definitely great having you on the panel again pal you always talk really good sense my, uh, big up to you in Las Vegas try and keep in the shade uh, who else have we got Gabriel eh? good to see you in again pal you're supporting me all the time there now uh, Roger Dodger he was on the panel uh, uh, Constantine Dante, good to see you in here, pal. Uh, just go through the chat, sliding through. Goddy Frogs, uh, he's a right minerals muncher now. He'll be lapping up Johnny's every word at the moment, won't he? <laughs> what do 